So Immortals of the Avum is now released, and if you find that you're not able to launch up the game because it's crashing before you even get to the main menu with something about a GPU out of memory, this video is for you. All you need to do is hold start and press R, and inside of this box here, type percentage local app data, percentage, one word, and hit enter. This will open up your C users, your username, app data, local folder. Inside of here, you should find a folder titled P3. Open this up, followed by saved, then config and windows. Yours could be something else. It's just the folder that's not crash report client. So in my case, windows. Inside of here, you'll find a bunch of different configuration files for the game, including engine, etc. But what we're looking for here is game user settings.ini. Open this file up with any text editor. Most likely notepad is what you'll be choosing and yours will look something like this. This scalability groups options set here is the in-game options menu. And for the most part, these are my optimized settings for a 3080 Ti. I've gone through a video showing you a whole bunch of information about this. And most of these options we can edit in-game, but if you can't actually get in-game in the first place, these are the options that you'll need to lower in the configuration file manually. Simply replace all of the numbers after each one of these lines with one, except for resolution quality. In this case, you should type in 50. Save this file, and the next time you launch up the game, all of the in-game options should be set down to the lowest option, or at least these ones here. We can also change use vsync from true to false, and of course, resolution size size X and Y. Mine is 2K, so 2560 by 1440, but you can lower yours to maybe 1920 by 1080. If you're still struggling to launch up the game itself, you can set maybe 1280 by 720 for 720p, etc, etc. It all comes down to what hardware you'll be using, as well as how this game will handle your hardware. This is an incredibly demanding game, to say the absolute least, so hopefully this will let you actually fire up the game to get to the in-game options menu to find out what you need to change. This will hopefully be fixed sometime in the future. They do have a nice budgeting system set up where they tell you how much GPU and CPU you have, as well as the impact of each of the options, but for some reason when you launch up the game itself, the first time, it doesn't seem to care about any of that, and instead sets it to unreachable qualities, meaning that you run out of VRAM on certain systems, such as mine here. Anyways, this was the fix in my case, so hopefully it works for you. Obviously, if you lower all of the settings to the lowest possible setting, and you still can't fire up the game, well, that's because this game is just incredibly demanding for what it is. This may be out of reach for you. In the description down below, you'll find this page here from EA. This blog post says the minimum PC specs to run this game. In this case, an i7-9700 or Ryzen 7 3700X, 16 gigs of RAM, and most importantly, an NVIDIA 2080 Super, which which is unreachable for a lot of people, and an RX 5700 XT, which once again may be unreachable for a lot of people. These aren't exactly cheap graphics cards, even though they are previous generation, they are still at the higher end, and most people won't actually have anything near that powerful, so playing this game might just be out of your books. Anyways, thank you for watching, hopefully this video helped you, my name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!